How's it going? Wednesday, April the 6th, 2022. Continuing Baseball Hall of Fame player comparisons. Taking two players, comparing their stats. See who's greater. Who's better? Who would you choose? Categories, career average, runs, RBIs, home runs, triples, doubles, singles, total bases, slugging on base, strikeouts, at-bats, games, stolen bases, walks, hits, 100 RBI seasons, most runs in a season, most RBIs in a season, and years played. Who are the players? Harry Heilman and Ed Delante. Similar players. Pretty close. Career average, Ed Delante, 346, number three all time as far as Hall of Famers. Harry Heilman, 342, one nothing Delante. Most runs in a career, Delante, 1600, Heilman, 1291, two nothing Delante. Career RBIs, Delante 1466, Harry Heilman 1543. Give it to Heilman. 2 1 Delante. Home runs, Delante 101, Heilman 183. 2 2. Triples, Delante 186, Heilman 151. 3 2 Delante. Doubles. Delante 522, Heilman 542, beats him by 20, 3-3. Three, three. Singles, Delante 1788, Heilman 1784, Delante wins that one by 4. 4-3, four, Delante. Total bases, Delante 3794, Heilman 4053. Heilman wins that, 4-4. Four, four. Slugging, Delante 505, Heilman 520, 5-4, Heilman. Heilman, Heilman or Heilman? On base, Delante 411, Heilman 410, Delante by one. Wow, 5-5. Five, five. Strikeouts. Delante 439, Heelman 550. Fewer strikeouts for Delante, 65. At bats, Delante 8,402, Heelman 8,972. Give it to Heelman. Games, Delante 1837, Heelman 2,147. Give it to Heilman. Heilman, Heilman. I'm going to stick with Heilman. Stolen bases. Delante, 456. Heilman, 113. 7-7. Seven, seven. Walks. Delante, 742. Heilman, 856. Give it to Heilman, 8-7. Hits. Delante, 2597. Heilman, 2660. So he beats them by roughly 70. 100 RBI seasons. Delante at 7. Heilman 8. 10-7. Heilman. Most runs in a season. Scored. Delante 149. Heilman 121. Give it to Delante. 10-8. Most RBIs in a season. Delante at 146 is as high. Heelman 139. Give it Delante. It's 10 9. And the last category, years play, Delante 16. Too bad he didn't play 20. Heelman 17 years. He wins it. So it's 11 to 9 final score, Heelman. But this Delante character, 16 years. In 16 years, he got 2,500 hits. Actually, 2,597, almost 2,600. He plays another four years, he gets over 3,000 hits. Same with Hanelman. He had 2,660, another three years, he would have been at 3,000. So they stopped their careers. Where did Delante win? Average, 
runs scored, triples, singles, on base, fewer strikeouts, stolen bases, most runs in a season, and most RBIs in a season. Heelman wins in RBIs, home runs, doubles, total bases, slugging, at-bats games, walks, hits, and most RBI, most 100 RBI seasons, and most years played. Who would I take? Delante or Heelman? Delante has a higher batting average career over Heelman, 346 to 342. Also in 16 years, like I said, he gets almost 2,600 hits. He has more runs scored, more triples, more on base, and fewer strikeouts. He also had more runs scored in a season and more RBIs in a season than Heelman. Heelman's good in RBIs, home runs, total bases, played more games, played about 300 more games. Listen to this. Heelman played 300 more games than Delante, yet he only had 70 more hits. If Delante plays another 300 games, he has more hits than Heelman. Total bases. Hillman wins by about 250. Delante plays one one more year. He gets 250 bases, so he would he would match him. I would say that Delante is a better hitter than Hillman. Even though Hillman had more RBIs. See, he beats him by about 80 RBIs. But yet he played one more year. Give Delante one more year, he matches him in RBIs. Home runs. Hillman is a better home run slugger. And his slugging was better, 520 over Delante's 505. But if you're going to ask me who am I going to pick, I'm going to go with Delante. Why? 16 years. Listen to this. He has 8,402 at-bats. Heelman has 500 more at-bats. Yet, Heelman only has 70 more hits. Give 500 more at-bats to Delante. He passes Heelman in hits, and he has a better average. That's why I would take Ed Delante over Harry Heelman, even though both of them are similar and both of them are outstanding players. Give it to Hillman. 342 career batting average in 17 years. Very good. What do you think? Also, Hillman, he batted 403 in 1923. And then he batted in another season, he batted 398. And then he batted 393 and 394. So Hillman. Four times came, came close to 400, and one time he passes it. 1921, he bats 394. Full season. Then in 1923, he bats 403. Then 1925, 393. And then in 1927, 398. Oh, man, how would you like to bat 398 and just miss out? So Hillman, four times close to, to uh, 400. Delante, listen to this. He batted over 400 three times, 405 in 1894, 1895. He goes back to back, goes 404. And then in 1899, he bats 410. And then another season, he bats 397. These are full seasons. So Delante, four times close to 400. Well, three times he goes over it. And then one season, he bats 397. Then another say, listen to this. He bats 377 and 376. What's going on with these guys? They can hit. They're not just batting 300. They're batting close to 400. Delante goes over 400 three times. And Hillman one time. Yet three other times he's in the 390s. 
quality, pure hitters. I don't care what area you're playing baseball. You still got to have a bat on your shoulder, and you still need to hit the ball. If everybody can bat 400, why aren't there 500 players batting 400? There's not. There's only a select few. Cobb, Hornsby, Delante, Hailman. These guys are select few. Babe Ruth never batted over 400. Ted Williams did it once, but Willie Mays, Henry Aaron didn't do it. And some of those quality, Roberto Clemente and some of these other guys, they didn't get over 400. But these old schoolers, 400 batting average for a season. And in Ed Delante's case, he's number three as far as Hall of Famers. Ty Cobb, 366. Hornsby, 358, and Delante, 346. Those in the Hall of Fame. You have another guy named Joe Jackson, Shoeless Joe Jackson, who batted 356 career, not in the Hall. But you know that Harry Heilman and Babe Ruth had a career batting average, both of them, of 342. Heilman hits 183 home runs, but the Babe hits 714. Yet he maintains 342 batting average. All right. This, I thought these guys were interesting quality players. Harry Heilman and Ed Delante. Harry Heilman edges them out in categories, yet he played one more year. Yet Delante is the better player, according to the stats. Okay, thanks for watching here. We'll continue Baseball Hall of Fame player comparisons. I'm out.